Okay, it's early, but I have a special guest with me. TJ's gonna go garage selling with me today. What up? There's a huge neighborhood yard sale that we always go to every year. And TJ's parents just happen to be in town, so they're watching the kids. So TJ and I can go out and find some stuff, huh TJ? So you can find a donut machine. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> that was my first find, was a donut machine. I was so proud of myself. And then I got home and Ashley was just like, this is not, no one's gonna buy this. <laughs> I was like, but it, it says $20 on the box and I bought it for five. I, I think it's a, still sold for I like 15. I thought I got a screaming deal. So I'm looking for a donut machine. Wish us luck. I think TJ will be my good luck charm. And I'm wearing my lucky hat again. Look, we're not gonna mess around. We're gonna go find the good stuff this time. Looks nice. Hold that. Hold that? Yeah. Good morning. Fun. We need a spare trip. But grab it. We hold Dolce it. Dolce and Babana. Yeah. Grab that one. Yeah. No, I always hold them last. Okay. Hold on to them. So I don't to get You gonna be my holder? Yeah. Okay. Do you know this? Uh, cousins, yeah, he's okay. I think he's a starter. Maybe he's a Tommy Bomb and chair. Sick. We're ready. Okay. No, wait, that, that yeah, I want this whole thing. Let's see. Whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> we will figure that yeah, all out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> and then, yeah, TJ's got some bags. Yeah, you just let know. me know. Yeah, do you guys take Venmo? We do. Oh, great. Okay. So, yeah, right here. So, this is 50. And then, 40s, 40s. <laughs> And I think he said 20 per pair of shoes and 20 for this. Okay. Tw sorry, 20 per pair of shoes? Yeah. Okay, we'll put them back then. This one this one you said was 10? Yeah. Okay. So this one. And which sorry, I I didn't Three, catch. Three. How much for this one? So 20. Okay. 20, 20 50, 40. Oh, okay, and I'll do these two. All right, you guys saw me get this coach bag and I was very selective about the bags that I picked up because she wanted $40 for the Kate Spades. That just, in my opinion, wouldn't be worth it. Kate Spade doesn't quite have the resale value that it once did. If you look on the interior tag, you'll see a code number at the bottom, F6, really? F67027. Yeah, this is called the Mini Lily Carry-All. And it sells new on Coach, the Coach website for $150. Resale value seems to be around 100. So we got it for 10. We got it for 20. This one we got. Okay, so they wanted $50 for the Junior Burke bag. Just to, in my opinion, totally not worth it. I don't think that bag was worth more than $50 resale as it is. I'll have to look up and be sure. Hey. Oh, his arm's out. Hey. The fry bag is the one. That she said that's just ten dollars. This is a four hundred dollar bag. No, yeah, really? this retails for four hundred dollars. And she wanted ten bucks for it. This is the cheapest one. Yeah, is it this real? is a fry Melissa, either tote or satchel, and resale value is like one hundred and fifty dollars. So cool. two really good bags, and it's in really good condition. Those ones are guess. Yeah, yeah, okay. and then the jersey. I'll we'll just do twenty and ten. Okay. Take the jersey. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay. I don't know jerseys like many of you out there. I've bought a lot of them. I've sold them. This is a Sacramento Kings Adidas Swingman jersey. It is DeMarcus Cousins. And because it's a Swingman jersey, I actually think that sells for more. I think this is a good pickup. I didn't look it up at the time, but it looks like comps are around $65 to $75 for this jersey. What did I pay for this? Oh, they threw it in. Okay, 
This is like a $75 jersey and they just threw it in because uh. I was buying, hey, because <laughs> I was buying all those video games which we will get into. All the video games and comic book stuff. That helps mitigate some of the costs of that. Do you want one? <laughs> Abercrombie and Fitch newest tags? Like, are you kidding? I mean, Abercrombie, like I said, is having like a renaissance. It's coming back. This XL full zip, I think, will easily sell for 30 bucks. And it was only a couple dollars at that one yard sale. And we have a surprise with the newest tags free people. It's like a mock neck with the statement sleeves. This should do great. I need to look the exact comps up on this style. But I think this should easily sell for like 30 bucks, 30, 35. Need that? The trombone. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, they, okay. We could turn it into it. There you go. Get creative. Hi. Hi. I think I'm ready. Great. Oh, mystery bag. What's in there? It's a mystery. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Should we get, we have to get one. We have to, well, we have to get a mystery a dollar, bag. I mean, for a dollar. The and you are aware coats were five? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The possibilities are endless on these. I know. I'm like, yeah, we got to get one. 14 total. Okay, awesome. Okay, first things first. We have to see what's in this mystery oh boy. bag. Boy, this was one dollar. Yeah. At a garage sale. And yeah. How can you not? You have to. For a buck, you have to. It's, you must. We okay. should have gotten more than one. Ready? Just rip it. What is it? Oh boy. Paper straws. Okay. What? Ooh. Wood utensils. What? Revelthon. Strikes back. Revelthon. Patch. Come on. Oh my gosh. Is it like a nativity yeah. set? Oh, I don't know. What the? It's a toilet. Okay, wait. What? No, it's not. It's a bunny with a sack. Oh my gosh, give this to your mom. I think it's an Easter bunny to hold little... Bunny? Little uh, eggs? Like eggs. Does, does this hold Easter little, eggs? Little jelly beans. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm <laughs> guessing what that's what this is for, right? I don't like shipping delicate things like that, but let's... Whatever. You know, for that's a mystery... That's a thousand for a percent profit. It is. These Abercrombie puffer jackets, if I can get these little... Don't eat that. If I can get these little stains out, these puffers should do really well. Abercrombie, like I said, is making like a comeback. I pay five dollars each for these. These will probably sell for like at least fifty dollars each. Hello? Yeah. She's sexy. She can wear that. I have. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready. Got a whole yeah, got some great pieces. Okay. Let's see. It's so cute. <laughs> I can go like two bucks on that guy. Okay. So, three people dress. I'll go five. Okay. So, seven. This all same dress. I love it. Let me think about this one first. Okay, no worries. Um, five on that guy. I'll go four on each of those, so eight. Okay. Butterfly dropout? These are like a, I don't know if these are vintage in, in and of themselves or if they are inspired by Y2K, but as we all know, Y2K is coming back for better or for worse. So I got two of these. Butterfly drop, I actually think they're cute. The comps seem to be around $30 for these, maybe more, so. I'm very hopeful with the fun graphics on them. Should I keep one? I don't know. Throw it back to my high school days? Maybe not. <laughs> we'll do two on that guy. Okay. 
Sonus, I'm still on the edge about this one. That's oh, all well. good. I want to get rid of it. So I'm probably going to say more than you want to pay for it. Just because I can still use it. You can. I'd probably go 20 on this one. I'd be okay, okay with. You can keep it. Yeah. yeah. I'll put it like back. Said, no cold, worries. So oh, <laughs> told, I totally get it. No worries. I'll probably, let's see, whatever 80% off that is. So 33. Okay. We can do 33 on that. Okay. Yeah. This All Saints dress was really amazing. Brand new with tags. This will sell great. I'm not sure for how much. Maybe like $75, I think, I hope. So we were at 52. 52, and then 33, 55, 85, and then could we do 40 for the purse then? I could go with that. Okay, so that's 125. Are you videoing Five. for posterity's sake? Oh, or? just, I like, to, yeah, I like to record <laughs> my little adventures. Thank you so much, how fun. This Prada bag. Looks to be authentic to me. I, I gave it a good look over. She said it was real. Said I know where she lives. The tags looked good. The interior logo looked good. The zippers looked good. The hardware looked good. The bags inside. <laughs> the leather felt nice. T, did you reckon my video? Oops. I bought it for $40, but I do think this will easily sell for close to like $150 or $200. I, um, that's my guess nice. for this bag. I got these two Rachel Pally dresses. I've never picked up Rachel Pally before, but I know that they can resell for good money because they retail for a lot of money. These aren't like the maxi skirts. I think those tend to do better, but they're kind of backless. Here's the tag. A free people dress, like a flannel plaid dress like a knit tank dress with the plaid detail. So yeah, I think this is an easy 30 to $40. Where's your toe? They barely fit, they won't fit. Here, five bucks for the you pants, thank, thank you. you. I got a bunch of Fox Racing stuff in a palette, and when I looked up comps, they looked really good. These are brand new with tags, she wanted five bucks, I was happy with that. Yeah, retail for 60, I think these will easily sell for like 30, 35 bucks. Do you know anything about Magic the Gathering? No, but I wish Matt was here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Do you have change? Yeah, do we have four bucks? Four dollars. Thank you. I got a ton of 6XL Polo Ralph Lauren button downs, shirts, and yeah, I think, I mean, when it's, when you come across larger plus sizes in nicer brands like Ralph Lauren, they can fetch really good money. Like depending on the style you have and what you have, these shirts can sell for like $50 each. So that's awesome. So I have a bunch of them and the jeans. This Foo Fighters tee is probably just for me. Like it would probably resell for like 20 bucks, but I think it's cool and I want to keep it because I love the Foo Fighters. Okay. All right. Did I hit the mother load or did I gamble and lose everything? I don't know. Here is the tea. If you guys remember this one yard sale I went to last year at this time, it was the same exact yard sale. And I picked up at that yard sale two one piece manga sets. Each of those sets sold for, I wanna say like $250. Without looking anything up, I just bought this box for hundreds of dollars. TJ was like, Ashley, are you sure? I'm like, yes, I think this is a good gamble, but I got home and I was like, I don't know. Okay, so you're gonna help me find out if I made a huge mistake or not. Sometimes I get excited and I just like want to secure it before anyone else does and I just want to hurry and buy it before like, I, I, I should have countered and I should have like haggled a little bit, but I didn't and whatever. You can eviscerate me in the comments below because maybe this was a dumb decision. But. I think some of these comic books are worth good money and I think the games are worth good money and I think once I add everything up, we have at least over a thousand dollars in here. So let's see. Okay, we've got some Marvel stuff. I will just leave this here. No point in taking it out. More Marvel here. More Marvel, Silk Spider-Man, House of X. I actually think this is the winner of the box. But the rest of these can be sold in lots. So I will lot these two together. But the, the comic books, that are on their own, I will sell individually. And comps on eBay are like around 20 to $30 for these. Some a lot more. And I think the sets 
on their own can sell for between $50 to $70 each. But a lot of these comic books here, you can see when I was looking them up, these are like, like this was selling for like $30. These two comic books here, like maybe $20 each, 15 to 20. This is where, you know, comic book experts Feel free to chime in in the comments and let me know like what your thoughts are. Did I make a huge mistake or is there some good money here? A ton of Switch games and I just grabbed all of them. A lot of like anime style games. And when I looked up comps on these, comps are around 40 to $60 for each one. Um, these PS4 games are probably more like 20 bucks each. I think one of them was $40. So eBay has a scan feature, kind of like Amazon, where if you click the camera, you can scan a barcode and it'll pull up comps just like Amazon does. So let's do that. Depending on condition, this seems to sell for like 100 to $120, so that's great. When I added it all up, I believe I have $1,500 worth of sales here, which makes my initial investment totally worth it. Uh, and I think these will move quickly and well. So I paid a lot, but I do think it's cool and I do think they'll move quickly and it'll be really good traffic for my store. I'm not a huge comic book expert, so a lot of this will be a learning curve for me, but I want to learn more. And this is a great way to learn more is to buy stuff that's out of your comfort zone and see how it does. And again, like I just kind of had trust that this yard sale would have good things. Okay, so to wrap it up, I think conservatively I have like over $2,700 worth of stuff here. Maybe like $2,500 if we wanna be extra conservative, but I think I have some really good stuff. I think it'll all sell really well. I think that means my investment was totally worth it. So even though I was only able to get out there for a little over an hour and a half, I was able to grab some really good stuff and I'm glad you guys tagged along for the ride. Shout out to Crewy for being a great little co-host in this video. We're just figuring it out as we go. If you guys want to follow up and see if any of this sells, if it doesn't, definitely subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing follow-up videos on all the things that sell for me. And I will be taking you along on all of my yard sale adventures this summer. So if you like this video, more like it are coming down the pipeline. I've also created a playlist of previous yard sales that I've been to, and you can click back here at the end screen. Thanks again, you guys. Take care, and I will catch you next time.